right, let's see. He's gonna try to find a way in. Looks like there's a door there with light. See that? Yeah. Hey, people! Open up! Fuck's making that noise. Aha. What the fuck is this? Look at this shit. Whoa! A gun with a silencer. A long gun with a silencer, huh? I don't know if I want that though. Someone's living in here. See this? I died! I was supposed to know that kills me? What? I didn't know that. Fuck. Is there any way through this? What if I duck? Nope. Alright, there's gotta be a way through. Turn the steam off. There's ammo, but they won't let me touch the ammo. See that? Huh. Anything else here? Before I head around? I don't think so. Ah! What did I get? Lots of currency and ammo. There's also first aid and more ammo, but I have full ammo there. That's what the key was for. Okay, the key opened that chest, or the safe. Cool. It's locked. Oh shit, look. A note. Note 2. I didn't get the first one. Fuck. Aw, oh, man. These tunnels definitely are cursed. Something really is happening there. Those voices. Perhaps they are just illusions, but I am sure that if we didn't get dragged out of there then, we would have stayed there forever. It happened so that I saved Bourbon, a stranger to me, while somebody else whom I was a stranger to saved me. We are used to not trusting others implicitly, but if each of us fights on his own, we're going to be nothing more than a free meal for the mutants. And still, I'm not sure whom am I afraid of more. I, I can't even read this. It's not, not even the pro proper English phrasing. here. Nothing. It's a dead end. I can't grab this ladder. Huh. I guess that's it. I guess I gotta get out of here. Monster this long to show up, I mean. Reload. 
That blood splatter. He died standing up. Look. Oh shit. There come more. Nice, they're helping us. Woo! Light them up! Good shit. That was awesome. Do as he says. These guys have no sense of humor. Are my eyes playing tricks? Bourbon, old friend. Is that you? And I've given up hope of ever seeing you alive again. Huh. Simon, look who the snuff scared up. God damn it. We stepped in this shit now. Hey, Mikhailovich, what a coincidence. I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set out the good dishes. Bourbons come to visit. <laughs> now, don't go running off, Bourbon. We've got a little job to finish, then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? I do, I do. You sure? I can help you, remember? You get me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think they like bourbon too much. Just getting that vibe. Okay, to the next area, sweet. I'd never seen a market like this. You could buy almost anything. But Berlin owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. Huh. your weapons at once. I don't think Bourbon's very welcome. Come into the light! Slowly, slowly. How be it, damn. Bourbon. Hey, guys, we'd better search these two. <laughs> so, you all drunk. What are you carrying this time around? And who's the boy? <laughs> Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Aha, look. Stand still, I'm talking to you. Shut up, I'm trying to get this note. Yes, I never get here without bourbon. He's at home everywhere and he knows everyone. Sure, as I suspected, the locals did have some old gripes with him, but looks like bourbon sorted it out. Which is hardly surprising since Prospect Mira belongs to Hansa, a training union of the Circle Line stations, the riches of the Metro's states. The citizens of Hansa, their wealth ensured through trade with other states and free stations, understandably value profit above everything. I think Bourbon had betrayed their trust before, and now he surely had to promise that he'd pay them back with interest. The only problem is that there's a saying, better to be indebted to the devil than to Hansa. He's going to have one tough time paying them back. Huh. 